Sign up at WGRZ.com slash to the movies from DealChicken.com. Hey, welcome back to Two Sides. I'm Christy Mazurek. I'm Stefan Mihailu. He's the host of Let's Talk Native. John Kane is a uh, frequent guest here on uh, mm -hmm. Two Sides. Sir, welcome. thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, you've uh, obviously, you know, hear a lot of the buzz. I mean, you've got your, you know, ear to the ground when it comes to uh, the Seneca's casino issues. What is the issue as far as the Seneca's basically not giving communities dough? Because correct me if I'm wrong, there would be no problem giving this money directly to Niagara Falls, things of that nature, without going to New York State, correct? Well, here's the thing. You have to first revisit what is the entitlement that New York State has as it relates to native gaming. Because uh, according to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, the states are in, actually entitled to no revenue, no direct revenue from gaming unless they provide something of value in return. So and this is where we get into the whole exclusivity deal. What, what New York State said was, we really want you to do gaming. We want you to compete against uh, the, the casinos on the other side of the Canadian border. We want you to have slot machines. And we guarantee we, won't, we will make sure that there's no competition in this whole area of, of Western New York. And for that, you'll pay us 25% of, uh, of the net from, uh, from your, your slot revenue. Now that sounds like, uh, you're, okay, you're providing an exclusivity. It allows you to grow out of business uh, without having to worry about competition. And for that, yes, we're willing to pay, you know, we're willing to pay the state 25%. Of course, now the Seneca Nation, they wanted to make, originally, they wanted to make direct relationships with, uh, with Western New York. They wanted the money that was going, for, that was going to come from the revenue that was going to go to the state to stay in Western New York. And New York State said, no, the money comes here to Albany. We'll take care of those people. You don't worry about Western New York. We'll take care of it from here. And then New York State went about violating the very exclusivity uh, agreement as, that was a part of the compact in the first place. And, and there, there's no way that the state can say, well, technically we're not really violating. They know they're breaching the, the exclusivity arrangement. But what they're trying to say is, yeah, but we're only breaching it on a certain class of machines. We aren't breaching it on, uh, on slot machines. At the end of the day, if somebody looks at this thing, if somebody flat out says, okay, so what is the thing of value that New York State is giving for this 25%. There is none, because they are in direct competition with the Seneca Nation, with their direct competition. The, the, for a while, they used to call these things racinos. Now they don't even, now they don't even pull that punch. Now they're, it's the Hamburg Casino, the, the billboards on the throughway, up and down the throughway, say slot machines on them. So for, for New York State to suggest that, that they are somehow not violating this thing, and that they can violate the, this, this exclusivity agreement and still uh, try to strong arm them for 25% of the net. I mean, this was, you know, IGRA was supposed to prevent um, organized crime from getting involved in, uh, in Indian gaming. And now you got the, the New York State acting like the mob. John, what do local officials uh, feel? I mean, you know, we were just talking about the mayor of Niagara Falls, areas like Salamanca. I mean, would they just want the direct deposit? Because it seems like right now, Albany being the middleman is what's causing the problem. Well, the problem is that, that can't happen right now. And the reason it can't happen is even when the Seneca Nation suggested at the, at the onset of this controversy, when New York State first started violating the exclusivity agreement, they said, look, we'll still make some payments to, uh, uh, to Niagara Falls and Buffalo and Salamanca, but we want to make sure if we do, and when we solve this whole this controversy, we want to make sure that we've gotten credit for what we've paid them directly. And New York State said no. And, 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 if the, and the reality is, if, if it turns out after they go through arbitration or whatever the format is they're going to go, to, uh, go through to resolve this thing, if, if indeed the Seneca Nation uh, is, is proven to be uh, right in this whole thing and that they don't have to pay the state anything because of the state's violation, then, then what credit and, and what, does, what is the, uh, the Seneca Nation getting for what they, what, what they would have provided to the, uh, to the host communities? Uh, to play devil's advocate, do you think two wrongs make a right, though, in, in, to some respects? I mean, obviously, New York State wants to expand casino gaming, gaming in New York State with the expansion of, I think it was either five or seven casinos in New York State. But that being said, should the Seneca still give the money to those communities, whether it's directly to them 
or to New York State. See, I think they should bail on the whole uh, the, the whole exclusivity payments in the first place. They should they should scratch that from the compact. I'm sure there's severability in the in the in the compact agreement. And then let the Seneca Nation go back to what they wanted to do in the first place and have some sort of direct relationships with the with the host communities uh, and, and just deal with, with stuff directly. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be 25% uh, of the drop because obviously the Seneca Nation isn't getting anything from New York State in exchange for that. But and I don't know what the communities themselves can offer as far as them offering something uh, of value in exchange for a percentage. But I'm sure they could they could work out something at very least if there if there are genuinely any costs associated at, at the municipal level for these uh, for the you know for what the, these host communities provide to these gaming establishments. There's no reason to believe that they can't work out a, a, some sort of service agreement where the, those things are paid for. John what's the rumbling of, of President Bob Porter because some people are saying maybe he is dragging out this issue uh, and maybe might not have the best interest of the Seneca's at heart. Well I think the, the I guess what I hear is that there is a sense that uh, that that uh, the Robert Porter and, and some of the counselors believe that they will lose in arbitration and they're they're trying to and and so there is a sense that well if we're going to lose an arbitration maybe we should give up this which is it's going to be like a half a billion dollars when all is said and done maybe we should give up this half a billion dollars and try to get something in exchange for it but see again I don't think they're they're looking at this thing in in the bigger context it's not just about the, the wording of the compact. It, it, you have to go back to the, uh, to the spirit of the agreement in the first place. Is New York State providing something of value for a percentage of, uh, of the gaming revenue? And if they're not, then there, there really is no obligation. And I think if, if that's a position, but I'll tell you something else. When, uh, Stefan, you ask if, there's a, if two wrongs make a right. What I'm saying, if New York State can see their way to breach what they're saying is only a portion of the compact, then I see there's no problem with the Senate Canadian saying, look, we're going to we're going to scratch a whole deal and 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 New York State you're not going to get this half a billion dollars we'll work out something locally with uh, with the folks that with Western New York where, where our biggest concern is okay John Kane thank you talk show host sir thank Love you so much for joining on. us greatly appreciate it. always always welcome here because we like to keep up on this because we sure. get a lot of a lot of misinformation as to what's going on in Albany uh, when dealing with the Seneca Nation and it's a hot topic and it sounds like there's no problem with giving the communities the money without no going they'll New cut York the check I, again I all Albany Albany always makes a money mess. We want to know what you think about this. We'll be right back. Are you paying more and more for cable and enjoying it less and less? Stop paying for second best. Upgrade to Verizon Fios TV, internet, and phone for just $89.99 a month, guaranteed for two years with a two-year agreement. Act now and we'll add a special bonus, $250 back. But hurry, this offer ends June 2nd. Unlike cable, Fios is a 100% fiber optic network that delivers America's fastest, most consistent, most reliable internet, plus the best TV picture quality. Why keep paying so much for cable? Switch to Fios for just $89.99 a month, guaranteed for two years with a two-year agreement, plus your special bonus, $250 back. Save $600 in your first two years. But hurry, this incredible offer ends June 2nd. Call 1-877-707-FIOS. That's 1-877-707-3467. Or visit us online to save even more. Fios, a network ahead. Millions actually believe the end of the world will occur. Jack, will the world end in 2012? You don't need a college education for this. Our Jesus is coming back. If he's going to reign on this earth, there has to be an earth. It can't end. It can't blow up. I don't care what happens in the future. This earth will go on forever. Watch Jack Vanapy Presents. Right now at Custom Carpet Centers, pay no sales tax on everything in the store. Every carpet and vinyl floor, every hardwood, laminate, and ceramic tile will be reduced in the amount of the New York State sales tax. It's our best sale of the year, and it's on right now. Remember, Custom Carpet Centers is the only place to get the carpet with the best stain and wear warranty in America. Stainmaster Ultra Life, there's truly nothing like it. On sale and only at Western New York's number one floor covering dealer. Custom 
Welcome back to Two Sides from the Zurich and Mahalo. I'm Lydia Dominic. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, on the note of what Mr. Kane was just talking about, Harry wrote in on Facebook, and he makes a very good point. Christian Stefan, he says, our casino is really the main outlet for gambling in New York State. For the majority of the population, you have to drive or secure transportation to get to one. The real culprits are the lottery sales locations available on every corner store, bar, and whatever other location the state has in every town across the state. The New York State Lottery received more revenue from lottery sales in the form of scratch-offs, quick draw, daily numbers, and lottery tickets than Las Vegas and Atlantic, Atlantic City's gambling revenues combined. Think about that. The lottery is a poor man's casino selling false hope in even the poorest sure. of neighborhoods. Well, For and sure. That, and that's the whole point that Governor Cuomo is trying to make when he is pushing uh, the expansion of casinos in New York State. I mean, the governor makes the point that, look, we already have the daily numbers, the win four, a daily drawing and the nighttime drawing. We have Lotto, we have Powerball, we have scratch off tickets, you know, Racinos, things of that nature. So from the governor's perspective, you already have casino gaming across New York State. What's the big deal if you expand it to a few casinos? That's Obvi his perspective. And obviously the Seneca Nation has a very different point of view based on, on the compact that was signed with George Pataki. There was a promise there. Now promises are broken and uh, half a billion with a B half a billion tied up in this mess. And again, don't think casinos have the all clear because there is a group, it's chaired by a gentleman right here in Buffalo, New York, uh, the Coalition Against Gambling in New York. They've already started their pitch. Joel Rose right there. We feel that it's not too soon to begin laying the groundwork for a fight next year. Most of the legislators who are here now will be back then. And again, they, there we go, and continuing on. And we'll be talking to people who are candidates also. This is not going to be the end of our efforts. This is really the beginning of our efforts on the amendment. Speaking to the tune of, okay, it passed the legislature this year. It's got to come back for next session, pass next session, and then pass the public referendum. So there's right. still two huge major hurdles, but these people are getting out of the gate now. And that's exactly why the Coalition Against uh, ga uh, Gambling basically is meeting with legislators now, because as Christy mentioned, there's still a lot of legislative hurdles uh, to be jumped, uh, basically, in order for casino expansion in New York State. Uh, they're going to be pushing... Uh, basically a no vote and putting pressure now on legislators because they don't want to expand casino gamings to five uh, casinos across New York State. In my opinion, if you want to go to a casino and spend your own money, that's your business. I don't think it's basically, you know, the silver bullet, the economic engine that will turn communities around because in my opinion, I think casinos basically take money from the local community and we don't attract people from places like Erie, Rochester or anywhere in Pennsylvania for that respect, those folks aren't coming to Western New York. They have their own casino. To go, right, to go to the <laughs> Buffalo Creek Casino. So it takes money from our they own have their, community. The, the, this coalition has said, listen, if somebody really wants to gamble, they're going to go online 24-7, gamble away their house, foreclose on themselves. Th this is not the issue. So what my thing is, is they're going to go around with a little checklist of everybody that's running, whether it's local, state assembly, state senate, and say, are you for or against this casino proposal? And based on how they vote next year, that could be the death sentence for these people two years from now. Let because you... it seems like they're gaining momentum right. and they're getting some cash behind them. Mel wrote in, she said, I think this group is trying to close the barn door after the horse has bolted. Gambling is already here and quite prevalent. Uh, the racetracks, native casinos, the lotteries, the lotteries have the greatest negative impact on the most vulnerable as defined by this group. And Bob wrote in, he said, we've already taken the land of the Native Americans. We've slaughtered their ancestors and carved out little reservations for them. So what's wrong with breaking contracts and a little extortion? I mean, that's that's their point. That's why we like having John Kane on, because again, to hear the story coming out of Albany, you know, they're trying to make it benefit everybody, but it still comes as a, at a cost to a contract that was already negotiated. So now you're reneging on that. Again, these people, this anti-casino coalition, them already getting themselves in the hopper, so to speak, you can be rest assured there. Like I said, the little checklist is going to be there. And two years from now, they're going to be like, mm hmm, you voted for casinos. That's $50,000 to the person running against you. Right. It's all about the dough. And uh, that's exactly what they're going to do because, again, it has to pass the legislature next year uh, in order to expand to five casinos across New York State. They, they are just not 
the economic engines that they're uh, purported to be by people who support casinos. I mean, look no further than the neighborhood around the Seneca Niagara Casino in Niagara Falls. The surrounding neighborhood, there's been no economic impact. But again, if you want to take your money and spend it in a casino anywhere you want, you know, whatever blows your hair back, knock your socks off. And the, right like and the Senecas have said, they're slow to cut the checks because they don't want to cut the checks to Albany to figure out where the money is gone. Somebody finally said, Eureka, I'm cutting you a check, sending it over to the Capitol building or the LOB. I don't know where the trail is. Right. So we want to know what you think. Coming up next, the Lackawanna Council faces off with some protesters over the Bethlehem Steel Building. That's up next when we return. One of the biggest stars in the entire world, Katy Perry, is here. Her new 3D movie. Plus, Katy's idol, Alanis Morissette. I'm so jealous of her. But you're doing okay, you I'm know. I'm all right. Tuesday at 4 on Channel 2. When you worked, Social Security deducted money from every paycheck. But now, when you can't work, your claim for disability benefits has been denied. I'm attorney Kenneth Hiller. When the government sends you a denial letter, it's not over. Call me to appeal. I'll work to get you the benefits you deserve. Call the law offices of Kenneth Hiller, toll free, 1-888-564-0505. They say you never forget how to ride a bike. And Burt's Bikes and Fitness has been giving generations of Western New Yorkers the joy of that simple pleasure for over 30 years. I got my bike at Burt's. The experts at Burns will make sure you get the bike that's just right for you, whether you're a casual or serious cyclist. I got my bike at Burns. Orchard Park, Tonawanda, and Williamsville. I got my bike at Burns. You'll find the bike you're looking for at Burns. You might even find three Burns and a Brian. Come say that one sensational, fun sensational, huge selectional, recreational warehouse. Just in time for Memorial Day, it's a swimming pool and spa sale at Recreational Warehouse. Buy your pool now and you'll be swimming when it's hot. Pools from 12 to 30 foot round, all on sale. Want to spa instead? Check out our New York State made energy efficient Saratoga spas. Keep the kids busy this summer with an Eastern Jungle Gym play system made of redwood and cedar. Sale on now at Recreational Warehouse. Here's today's offer from Deal Chicken. Save 50% and get nut-free treats from Vermont Nut-Free Chocolates. A chocolate treat safe for those who have nut allergies. A $30 value for only $15. DealChicken.com. Hatching deals daily. Welcome back to Two Sides of the Missouri and Mahalo. I'm Lydia 